Today we need to get into people absolutely furious over Jungkook and Jenny reported working together, sort of. We have V hiring an intimacy coach on set, which is very interesting, and then we have some pics leaked of RM at the military. So you don't think this is Dave Desai, hate or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on, make sure you join us fangirly on Patreon, and let's go. There recently have been some pictures that have come out of the military that have gotten people freaking out. People were absolutely obsessed with the fact that RM was seen with a trumpet and a saxophone. If you don't know what's going on and why he would have a saxophone and a trumpet in the military, then we need to talk about this real quick. The military doesn't just do physical combat and that sort of stuff. They also have activities for the soldiers. One of them, said activities, is participating in music. There's also things like getting a promotion and becoming a captain and also things like cooking and several other things. Now don't quote me on this part, but I think a lot of the members have opted to participate in the music, so that is being a part of the military band, and I think they get to do things like singing or playing an instrument or whatever it is, and I'm not sure if they actually have the soldiers or the BTS members set aside and then have a teacher come in and teach them instruments or if they're only allowed to be in the military band if you know how to play an instrument. Because it's moments taken out of the training to have the members learn to play an instrument, then if I was one of the members, heck yeah, I'd opt to be in the military band, take that time to do something related to their career instead of learning how to fight. What also being in the military band is believed to do is allow the members to also do music while they're enlisted. So typically soldiers are not allowed to work while they're enlisted, but if you're in a military band doing music, then they kind of soften that rule and allow you to do music. But that's just a theory. I don't know if that's actually a legal workaround. Now, fast forward recently, there's been some pictures that have come out because I think when the members are in a band or the soldiers are in a band, they put on a show and then I think their friends and family get invited to come see it. So some pictures came out of arms specifically performing. And in those pictures, we see a trumpet as well as a saxophone. These photos went viral and people were absolutely going crazy because every time we see the members learn or play an instrument, we know that they could potentially result in them performing in the future with said instrument. I mean, imagine if Arm is on set or on stage and he has a trumpet or a saxophone. Or imagine Arm creating jazz music for his next album. Other people were making jokes to say that Arm learned an instrument and that was V's dream job. And look, he could have had the opportunity to do this too, unless being in the band is really highly competitive, which it could be. If they're taken away from their training to do lessons, then I would imagine maybe it is. Now, of course, with any photo league or photos coming out, people are going to talk about how these photos are extremely unfair for the members because they are stalker photos and not quote unquote legal photos. However, I think since this is of them putting on a show that this would then be a performance type of thing, which of course photos and videos would be fine. And there's a reason why the military does things like this, right? The whole point is to have photos and videos so they can go viral and be shared so that the military can essentially get more people to join and also get better funding because they're seen as a bigger deal to the public now. I love learning new things about the members and I love seeing them do different things. I think this is why it's so exciting for me to see V do his music video Friends because it was definitely something very very unique and different, and it was also something that V and the other members of BTS have never gotten to experience, which is doing more romantic or intimate scenes. Now going by what the public probably thinks that the BTS members are, they probably think that the members are virgins, and that's not a bad thing. I hate when people look at male versions and think that it's a terrible thing, since when is contributing to society, trying to make money, becoming rich, and focusing on your career considered a bad thing. There are so many people, especially successful people, that lose their virginity way late in life, and the reason and why they do is because they're very successful and they spend most of their life working. Now with that said, it was very interesting when the news came out that for the Friends music video shooting, they hired an intimacy coach. An intimacy coach is very vital to what a lot of actors and a lot of what people in entertainment may want to feel safe. They're not an integral part of being on set, like not legally obligated to be there, as not every single actor or musician or whoever that has an intimate scene necessarily needs one. However, they're there for the comfort of the actor and there to mitigate conversation. So for example, moments where an actor might even be completely naked and an intimacy coach on set would be in charge of speaking to the actor and then letting the director know and what would be the actor's comfort level. This is also put in place so the actors don't get treated horribly, don't get inappropriately touched, or don't get pushed to the point where they're doing something they would regret. Now of course, none of that necessarily was necessary for V and the actress as they weren't getting specifically too intimate. However, the other actors on set 
such as the background actors and all of the people that were kissing and doing all that stuff definitely would need an intimacy coach because they were doing stuff a lot of people probably wouldn't be comfortable doing with a stranger. This is very beautiful to know how much effort and energy is put into something that we see. We might look at what we see on screen and think that's fun and it's cool and there really aren't any problems and usually there isn't. However, we never know how much of, an, of the actor is being given away, if that makes sense. Like an actor might look at that and think, oh, I went too far with that and I'm not actually comfortable showing that. But then now millions of people have seen it and this is really something that a lot of people can't relate to and a lot of people don't know. But it kind of sucks to have millions of people view something that you might regret putting out or having done on set. So an intimacy coach is there to kind of mitigate that and not let you regret anything you do. And it's also a very interesting job, right, to apply to do this type of work on set. But I can guarantee you there's all sorts of people on set that you wouldn't even think of. I mean, during the pandemic, there was even people who were specifically designated to look after regulations and stuff that the government had put in place for this virus. So making sure that everyone who wasn't the talent was wearing a mask, things like that. There was also a report that was very interesting that got a lot of people upset, and I don't really know how to segue into this naturally. So this is just how I'm going to do it. People were more upset over the Jenny and Jungkook Calvin Klein campaign. So both of them have essentially worked together to increase Calvin Klein's stock. At least this is what the fandom thinks. So there's been people reporting that after the campaign with Jungkook, the stock has gone up. And then after the campaign with Jenny, the stock has also gone up. However, this is interesting because stocks don't always go up and down based on sales. So if you're insinuating that because a specific member or celebrity was the face of Calvin Klein, that that has caused sales to go up and thus the stock, it's not likely necessarily true. So what were people saying online and what were they upset about? Well, apparently people were saying online that Jenny was the result of why the stock had gone up so much in Calvin Klein. I don't know what the point of why people try to talk about this because it's really stupid and it really proves such a pointless argument, but people like to prove that because of their favorite celebrity being the face of a brand that the celebrity's impact is so powerful and that their face alone can cause the stock to rise. So people were saying because Jenny did her photo shoot and her campaign that that was the reason why the stock had increased tenfold. Others were then fighting this sentiment to say that it actually wasn't Jenny, but the stock had increased dramatically because Jungkook was the face of Calvin Klein first. And then Jenny was right there after Jungkook. So she didn't increase the stock, but Jungkook did first, and then Jenny just jumped on it. So basically saying that Jenny was on the tail end of Jungkook's success and is now unfairly getting the credit. It is silly and very stupid to deny the power of both celebrities. First of all, the members of Blackpink have all been really good at brand campaigns. It would be almost unfactual to say that if their face is on something that it doesn't sell. There's a reason why they keep getting these brand deals is because their face does sell. Also, let's talk about the fact that even if there weren't celebrities, just how gorgeous they all are, that alone would make the product sell because people would then be looking at Jenny wearing glasses, let's say, and then be like, wow, that model looks absolutely beautiful wearing the glasses. What if I look like that if I wear those glasses? And then they would sell. Also, very silly to talk about this specific moment when Jenny started in 2021 and Jungkook became the face in 2023. So the numbers are very skewed anyway. And the stock has been moving up and down for a long time. The stock has also naturally gone up because the products have gotten better. There's just so many variables. Of course, there's no denying Jungkook's impact, but please stop hitting Jenny. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.